Yes, uh, my name is Ryan Orban. I'm from Galvanize, where I serve as the CTO. Ah, um, I think Data by the Bay is a, a great conference. Um, we love hosting it here at Galvanize. Uh, a big part of our mission um, is to help transform lives through education and through community support. And um, our, one of our main programs is uh, data science and data engineering. Um, and so being able to support and host uh, a conference like this, uh, bring in amazing luminaries from the field, um, Alexi, who's an amazing organizer, and just getting um, all of these people activated on our campus and getting our students and our, our companies, our members uh, exposed to this level of content is, is super great. So we're happy to support Data by the Bay. Um, we have for, for some time now, and we're even talking about potentially having a, a greater level of collaboration and taking this not only nationally, but globally. Um, you know, it sounds a bit trite, but you know, a key portion of my talk was that really data science and data is the future. Um, when we think about um, the, the new technologies that are coming out, either being in artificial intelligence or deep learning, um, or even machine learning, um, it's really changing the economy and that every company now is a tech company. Um, you know, even from you know, construction and manufacturing to what you would typically think about as you know, leveraging data science like an Uber or Facebook, um, every company is having to answer the call um, in order to be more competitive and to reduce costs. And so I think this is one of the most exciting areas to be in right now because we're seeing a tectonic shift, not only through um, things like you know, self-driving cars and artificial intelligence, um, but you know, we're going to see a pretty big landshed moment over the next 10 to 15 years. Um, the most you know, populous job in the country right now is truck driving. And you know, the, the, you know, this morning they just announced a $30,000 add-on to a semi, which makes it allow it to drive to coast to coast unaided by a particular human. Um, and so this is one of the reasons we, what we do what we do is providing the access and opportunity to the skills and knowledge that you need um, to not only be working with the AIs, but actually programming them. And, and being able to understand and leverage data, I think, is a big component of that. And just having basic data literacy of knowing how this is being used and what data you're generating and the value of that, I think, um, is going to be really important because the amount of data is continuously going to grow. Uh, it's growing at an exponential rate. We're all carrying supercomputers around in our pockets right now. Um, and the amount of data exhaust that we have is only going to continue to grow and be more and more, you know, I think, combined into the very fabric of our lives. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think data um, really holds the key for a lot of the big technological and kind of industrial evolutions that we're going to see and really bring in a new age. Yeah, we're going to see some crazy stuff. Yeah, we're going to see some crazy stuff. And I don't even think we know necessarily what we're going to see, right? I mean, and, and I think that's the other exciting yet terrifying component is that it's moving faster than it ever has before, right? We're seeing these massive contractions in the cycle of when these innovations come out. And so I don't even, you know, just like data science wasn't even a term 10 years ago, I don't even think we know what the new jobs will be in the next 10 years, right? I think it will continuously change. And a big part of, you know, what Galvanize tries to do is move the pace of that industry, right? And making sure that we're providing the programs and the opportunities and the honor ramps for people um, for those jobs that don't even exist yet. I think like anything, uh, particularly data science, um, it all comes down to practice and practical experience. Um, and that's a key part of our programs is that you can go and get a master's degree you know, at you know, n number of, of universities, both you know, uh, domestically and worldwide. Uh, some of them are great programs, some of them are not, but typically they're focusing on the theoretical aspects. Right? They're going to go and walk you through a proof and prove to you that a neural network converges. Um, but I think the rubber really meets the road is when you apply this stuff in practice. Right? And when does it work? When does it not work? Um, how do you clean data? How do you work with a team? How do you work with engineering, put things into production? And so I think that practical experience um, and knowing when the things work and especially when they don't work and being able to have that intuition and being able to understand and identify where uh, potential opportunities in your data are because um, data science, even though it's called data science, is as much of an art as it is a science and having that human component of it and that creative passion um, and how these things are applied I think is really important. And so my biggest advice is um, 
you know, practice makes perfect, and you really need to get, you know, dig into the data. You need to be working on interesting problems, new problems all the time, um, and really working um, cross-functionally with your team. Because I think, you know, we've seen data science applied a lot to things like online advertising and self-driving, and you know, real key revenue uh, generators in the business, but. Um, some of the greatest data scientists, they came in through data science orthogonally, right? They didn't study it. They were facing some problem in a different domain and they needed to use data science to solve it at large scale. And I think we're gonna see more and more of that acceleration in things like healthcare and things like education, uh, where typically we haven't seen a lot of data being used or leveraged that, um, you know, I think that's where the next kind of vanguard of great data scientists are gonna come from.